Hello everyone, it's Natasha from Treasure Books. These are all of the things we're going to make in today's video where I share with you seven simple junk journal ideas, quick embellishments and or additions to our junk journals. Each one of these ideas is going to spark extra related ideas, which of course I will share with you. And at the end of the video, I will also explain why I chose to do only seven ideas rather than 10, 15 or 25. All right, let's begin. Idea number one is the lace snippet notepad. So this is more of an addition to a journal. And the idea is that this comes inside the journal or lives inside the journal like this, for example. And then the recipient or yourself, you have all of this lace or lace snippets at your disposal to use throughout the journal. All of this comes off so nothing is sewn to each other everything can be removed very easily and i think the best thing to do is to make one on camera so here i have some cardstock as my base and i've already cut up some laces that can go on there and i kind of layer them so that the little edges are visible something like that for example and then i finish off with a doily just there in the middle now you can add a little bit of fabric up the top and sew through you could add fabric pieces throughout you know you can make this as fun as you want now i'm using a paper doily popping that on top like so next just a little off cut piece some scrapbook paper just making a fun little cut in there and the main reason why I'm popping this piece on is because I'm using these bulldog clips and I find when I do this without that piece it just digs into everything and it doesn't look good so that's really the main reason why I have this piece on there and so I'm just going to fold that down a little bit you can really take this in so many different directions and here we go that's holding everything in place now some of you might know some of you may not that these can be removed just like that and then you can hang really anything you want off of there and this one can go back in there squeeze that in and here we go how easy was that and such a fun little concept and you can make tiny little ones and put them into pockets in in journals and things like that like i said you can take this many different ways this is only supposed to spark your imagination you can even have little packs of them in your etsy shop and sell them like that let's move on you may have seen my video on using empty pen barrels to bind journals if not i will link it down below for my idea number two, we are using empty pen barrels as a closure for the journals. The reason why I mentioned the binding video is because in that video I go more in depth on how you can decorate these empty pen barrels. All right, the idea is that you use up your pens, but instead of throwing these bits out, you repurpose them, right? So please don't go destroying perfectly good pens. I just demonstrated how you would, I'm sure you know how you would remove the ink thing inside, but just in case. So there's my empty pen barrel and then here is a little piece of paper that I have rolled up. Once again, if you're having trouble with anything, uh, you know, just have a look at that video that I'm going to link down below where we're using these uh, for binding the signatures. So basically you have this thing rolled up, you pop it inside, you can use washi tapes and wrap, wrap around, all sorts of different things you can do. But uh, this is just a quick little demonstration, you can do, you know, use different types of scrapbook paper for this part. When I did this video on binding with the empty pen barrels, I wasn't using the end caps, as you can see here. I don't know why I didn't think of using them, but it's actually much better if you use them. So what I'm talking about are these, you know, up here. And you can very easily remove them by using a, a long wooden skewer like this and just pushing and then they come off. I mean, not all of them are the same, but you can see they have this hole up the top and that's the hole that you would use for, for either this or for the binding. 
but having said that sometimes the holes can be really really tiny which means you can't use them in which case you will just not use them just do it without them okay so basically i have my rolled up piece of paper in there i made sure that there's enough space for my cap to fit inside and now you grab some elastic i have this beautiful gold elastic i mean silver would go really nice with that journal but you're just going to thread it through like so you could use a thin stretchy lace for example if you have it it does have to be stretchy because you want to be able to put it on and take it off a journal and now from here you can just go to town with how you want to embellish this i guess but before you start with any beads or anything like that i'm gonna put the end cap on just like that and now i'm going to put this bit back on not all pens are the same of course these are mostly gel pens that i was using and you know you, it's not going to work on all empty pen barrels but it's just an idea you can play around with so you can see how it looks without any other embellishments here i've added some beads i added a little bit of washi tape and some more beads up the top here i added silver beads even though i have it on a gold string but it still looks fine okay here we go so making sure that's somewhere in the middle uh you can play around with the knot we're going to make uh, it doesn't bother me that this this knot is visible but you might want to measure and tie the knot and bring the knot inside the pen but then you wouldn't be able to be adding all of these beads so anyway that's something to think about i'm gonna hold that in place there and kind of pull a little bit like stretch the elastic a little bit and make a knot and i'm going to do exactly the same thing on the other side and now you can have it either way you can have the pen facing up or facing down whatever is your preference and tie it around the journal tie a knot and the double knot and i'm just making triple sure tying a third knot there just to you know be on the safe side cut it off and here we go i think it looks so cute and it just goes really well with what we're doing we are repurposing things that would otherwise end up in landfill i'm so passionate about this and it also goes because it's a pen it's obviously you can't use it but you know it makes sense for this pen to be on this journal all right let's move on idea number three is a mini folio and we're talking simple and it doesn't get simpler than this but it's just such a beautiful very effective addition to a journal so this is what we're talking about it's just a little mini folio that you pop you know you can layer a lot of tags i chose to only have the two things in there but it's little po pockets in there with embellished front and it's clipped onto the side of the page so simple and i'm going to demonstrate just for fun you use any size paper that you have and this is basically it i want to have those curved things happening here so you can have as much fun with that as you want you can have a large opening a smaller opening whatever so i'm gonna start not really from there but maybe from somewhere here and then just i could use something curved like a, a dish but doesn't matter looks like a corset top just inking the edges already does so much and then now you've guessed it we're just gonna glue the sides shut but i also want to that's why i left this little part here i also want to glue that i just want that pocket to be shut on three sides right pop a little bit of glue here and then of course the glue the, uh, the the actual sides shut and of course you can use your sewing machine which is what i often do but we're sticking with simple and quick and easy here we go 
Here's a little folio. You can go ahead and pop something on the, on the front or just leave it as is. It's already rich and fun. And then, of course, fill up inside to your heart's content. It's such a simple concept, yet when you pop it inside a journal, especially when it's there's something else on, on another page, it brings it all to life. It makes it look rich. Let's see. Perhaps I could have this one somewhere else in the journal I have a little thing here and then perhaps I could have something on this side it would look nice to put an image or a little something maybe even a, a tab maybe I can sew this on directly just onto that first page you know I'm sure you're coming up with ideas you can make tiny little versions of them you can make gigantic versions of this thing you can make a few say three four five all different sizes and make it into a little booklet with bits and pieces inside you can make little packs again there's just so many different things that you can do with a really simple concept just try things out and see how they work idea number four are these mini clipboards they are additions to junk journals and they're just so easy and simple to make what i'm using for this is this thick cardboard the kind that comes at the back of uh, notebooks and things like that this one's got all writing on it but generally speaking i don't tend to write on that so that's what i'm going to use i just cover it with some scrapbook paper i'm going to use this one and the one i'm going to make today is going to be bigger than the ones i've made previously just to show you you know you can make them any size you want the size that so far i was making was half the size of this you can even make tiny little ones like that you know and tuck them into pockets in journals so i'm just going to apply some glue it's really the edges that are most important so i'm just going to push that glue all the way to the edge and then because i want to use the other side i'm gonna pop that down on top make sure it's all nicely glued down and then using my metal ruler and exacto knife i'm gonna cut right there at the edge and if you wanted to conceal the edges which is something that i'm not doing you would leave extra all around and then wrap the edges but i'm just eliminating that extra step and now repeat on this side you might choose to use two different scrapbook papers but i'm doing the same thing again press down and again trim off and here we go there's my little board and this alone can be used to make journal covers and all that sort of stuff so now i'm going to ink the edges this really gives it a finished look and here we go you can see the side of that cardboard and that's what i was saying before if you don't like this you would wrap the paper inside and then glue your second piece or you can just simply do this and that kind of gives it more of a finished look all right so now you can clip any paper that you want on there i have a whole heap of these papers tea dyed already and i'm struggling to use them because i don't like the lines going this way when i fold the pages so i don't like them in my journal and this is a perfect project for these kinds of pages and when i'm cutting the papers down i want them to be smaller than the board so you can actually see the outline of the board I think it uh, gives it a nicer look when it's visible so I'm just making a little mark where I want to cut and here we go time to cut and of course I'm keeping these because I can cut these down and have the smaller ones as well or I can make them into little booklets and cut some more and then of course these of cuts I'm also going to keep and probably use them today in this tutorial and here we go pop that on and here's our little clipboard and I mean all the different things we could do with this idea and all the different ways we could make this so much fun you could totally do something like this you could have papers you could have fabrics you could have laces doilies all sorts of things clipped onto a clipboard and then that comes with the journal beautiful you have all your bits and pieces in one place i just want to see how this would look if we just make it a little bit more fun perhaps a little sticker might look nice maybe i can use this little off cut piece as well one idea leads to another and another 
but you know I have to stop somewhere something like this I think that looks really cute it's really quick to make and you can make it so much fun and each one can be totally different and differently embellished you can have little something hanging off here a little tassel charm you know that's the nature of these projects one idea leads to another related idea and another one idea leads to five different related ideas I think so anyway look at this as a little pack as a little gift so cute next idea is another really simple and quick idea that you can totally elaborate on and it is this here it is a tag that opens up like this so you can have it above the page like this but then it would be upside down so I generally have it under the uh, like on the on the side of the page like this so when you're turning the page both sides are visible or oftentimes I will have it clipped in like this on the side of the page like that so then it opens up this way when making these I'm always mindful that at least one of the sides can be written on so if you had a really busy scrapbook paper like this on both sides then it doesn't really make much sense it's not suitable for writing so this was a 12 by 12 paper that's been cut down and used in different ways and I have this piece left over so you can have wide tags you can have you know tiny little ones that open up whatever I just want to make sure that all of my sides are even next thing I do is make it into a tag shape you can decide sort of how much you want to chop off I think I like about that much I'm gonna use one of those over here just so I get an even cut on both sides and now I have these triangle pieces that I want to use on the inside as you've seen here it's just just for a little bit of fun I often keep these cutoffs because they're really cute to use in pages in your journals like that they're beautiful corners look at that it looks really cute or you could do what I'm doing here you could maybe just do two like that you could do something like this maybe something like that but I'm gonna do the same thing I've done on this one here so I'm folding it down just so I can see where my edges are and that way it's easier rather than this way I can't really exactly see and here we go that's done I've inked all the edges and now we just need to you know if you want to keep going you could stop here you could embellish you could put a little something here but we're keeping it simple punch a little hole now I don't have these hole reinforces so I just make my own I punch little circle shapes and of course I've inked them all because I'm an inking fanatic and then I punch a hole in the middle like that I do that on all four and then glue them down like this and the reason why I do it this way rather than gluing them on and then doing them all at the same time is because maybe they're not all going to be in the center and then I will have one of them with a hole over here or something like that I just like things to be centered and here we go done and dusted so it's really quite simple but you can make it as simple or as elaborate as you want totally up to you and your own imagination you could totally make the same thing but instead of it opening this way it can open this way sideways like that all right next idea is paper off cuts notepads and this is my favorite idea and the reason why I have this many made up is because these are all of my off cuts well not all I do have a box of off cuts so what I mean by this is when I'm cutting down pages that go into my journals usually you know you will have strips of paper left over and I use them all in different ways like something like this for example I keep all of these and one of my next ideas will be using some of these so there's two different ways that you can make this and of course they look fabulous as little additions to journals so I'm actually going to use what's left over from that previous project I did you get whatever little offcuts you have I like to use a variety of different colors you know just to make it more fun so if you have really long pieces you would fold them in half which is what I've done here you can see this top piece is actually one piece of paper that was folded in half but I don't seem to have any so then what I do is something like this I don't fold it in half but I fold it a little bit up the top maybe I want to have some shorter pieces like this you don't even have to do any folding maybe you can just stack them 
and then that last piece I like to have sort of folded over so the next thing we're going to do I'm going to poke two holes here there we go two holes done next get some twine go in the first hole back to the front and tie a knot and then tie a bow and now you can leave it as is or maybe play around with these edges here i don't know make it a little waterfall like that you can go ahead inking all of those edges i'm not going to bother with it i'll just do a little bit maybe just the top and bottom one just tell you right now you're never going to get rid of all of those off cuts because if you keep making journals you keep getting off cuts so it's a losing battle but that doesn't mean that we can't give it a go right this one here there was no folding it's just single pages i've stacked together and then used a leftover from a 12 by 12 which i folded over the top and then pretty much did the exact same thing that i've just done and you know you can embellish it further i guess but i think a, just a little sticker like this is often enough just a little something on there and here we go there's that one done and the last idea at least for today are these little mini matchbook notebooks and again we're using all off cuts from previous projects and as you can see here they can be any size you want you can use larger off cuts you can use tiny little ones whatever you have so i have these off cuts from today's project that i did before with the clipboards so i could use that for a bigger one or for example like this i could use that here are some shorter ones like this lots of little off cuts in here so this is probably way too long i also make long notebooks like this for example i have a whole bag of them that are made and they are all off cuts you can see inside here all little off cuts and it's a laminated little cover and I just love using things up. But anyway, that was a side little thing. I'm going to use these today. Maybe I'll mix in some of these as well. Next, I'm going to use another off cut piece. And first, I'm going to make it into a booklet. So I want to have a largish flap, but probably not that large. Maybe something like this, for example. All right, let's get a bit closer. Then I'm going to have leave a little bit of space here fold it down just like that very simple and now I'm going to cut this into a point you could of course just eyeball it but I like to find that perfect middle and maybe I'll just do two little marks here so that they are corresponding to each other it's probably quicker and easier just to eyeball it but whatever you prefer something like that so the next thing we need to do is make a little cut as an opening for this flap so that can you know stay closed and the way that I do that I'm going to ink the edges so you can see okay edges inked so now you can see a little bit better and now just so I know where to make that cut again you can just eyeball it you you decide where you want it I mean you want you don't want to make the cut there and you have only this tiny little bit holding everything closed so perhaps I'll make a cut somewhere there so I'm just going to mark you can see I made two little marks there and I can see it when I open up and that's exactly how long my cut is going to be align my ruler and just make that cut you don't want it to be any bigger than those two marks then it's just going to slide right out it's not going to keep anything closed there we go so at this point if you want to be a little extra you can take this whole piece to your sewing machine and sew all around look i made these years ago i made these about seven years ago and i still have them so the sewing isn't really the greatest i actually sewn in that signature on my sewing machine and i've sewn around the opening so that it's visible so that's uh, something that you can do I'm not going to do it today and because I'm not going to do it and I'm not going to sew around and accentuate the opening I want to ink it but it's really hard to ink it when it's you know like this just a little cut there so what I do is I grab some scrap paper and I do it this way okay there's one side I'm going to do the same thing on this side 
and here we go so it just kind of accentuates it that it's there okay so now for our little signature that's gonna go there it's gonna put it sewn in and of course i have to get rid of this excess here so again i'm just gonna go and trim that off okay and done and now you go ahead and you sew that signature in using a three hole pamphlet stitch which is what i have done on this i actually did a little mini three hole pamphlet stitch really simple really quick another option as i've mentioned of course is to sew right through like i did on these little ones or you can simply use your stapler and just staple that shut you would open it up of course like this and then use your stapler in there you wouldn't kind of staple it there or anything like that i guess you could do that as well and here we go i end up using my sewing machine to sew that signature in now i feel like i want to add sewing all around and here we go i couldn't help myself so i've just sewn all around and ideally you would do that before sewing in the signature because that was a little bit difficult and i think that looks quite nice even though it would look better you know when it's got this sewing around the opening as well but anyway it looks fine without any sewing just a little little mini little pocket filler i would call this and another little place to write do you want more of this type of thing let me know in the comments down below the reason why I chose to do seven ideas as opposed to 10 or 20 or 50 is because I believe all of us have limitless ideas and oftentimes that in itself can actually create a problem. We can start feeling stuck in a rut or not sure what to do on this particular day or what to add to this particular journal because there are just so many possibilities, too many possibilities. This type of thing is good particularly at times where you feel like you've lost your mojo you sit down for 15 minutes and you just recreate one thing you just do these for example you just do these little notebook you just do these they're very very quick to make and quite a lot of fun right all right let me know what you think thank you so much for watching and i'll see you in my next video bye